I get home. Oh, man, a lot of crime going on lately. It's crazy. I don't know what to do about it, but it's gone insane. Uh-oh, I heard a knock at the door. Come on in. Officer, officer. Yes, ma'am. What's What seems to be the problem here, ma'am? I'm about to go home. Can you wait on that, please? Just wait on that, okay? Just please wait on that. Okay. What is it? What seems to be a problem? My daughter, she got kidnapped. Your daughter got kidnapped? Yes. What's your name, ma'am? My name is Kathleen Smith. Kathleen Smith. What's your daughter's name? Her name's Katie. Katie? I mean, um, Kayla. I meant to say Kayla. Her actual name's Katie, but she um, goes by Kayla. So your daughter's name is Katie. Yes, but she goes by Kayla. Okay. And she's been missing. Wow. You see, I left her home alone. And when I told Kayla, when I left Kayla home alone, you see, I told her to get her chores done. Yes. And then I told her she could get on the computer. Were you monitoring her on the computer? See, that's the problem. I should have been. Well, then that's kind of on you. Oh, the point is, my daughter's missing. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just... Oh. Anyway, I told her she's been talking to a stranger. The stranger? What's his name? John Paul. Oh. Say that again, please. His name's John Paul. You're kidding, right? No, I'm not. That's, that is not good at all. You're right, it's not good. No. That guy is a predator, you know. Did you know that? John Paul? I was assuming so. No, he, he's actually on the um, children's predator offender registry. So he's on the sexual offender registry? Yes. He's a child predator. <gasps> oh my gosh! See, look. <gasps> I'll show you on the computer. Let's see. I'll pull out my laptop. I'll show you. See, look. <gasps> oh, my God. My daughter's in danger. My daughter's in danger. What am I going to do? Look, ma'am. Have you already called police? Yes, I have, but I came here because I need you to help me find my daughter. Okay. We're going to do everything we can, but your daughter, she is only six. She's only she is not even 10 years old yet. She's not even 10 years old. No. She's really young. Yeah. It is not good for a 35-year-old to be talking to a under-age person, especially under 10, right? Yes. That, that's not normal at all. That guy clearly is a creep, and that is not normal. What are you going to do about it, officer? Well, it's... I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna. I'm already sent two other officers out to go look at her. She said she was going to meet him in the park. I checked the park earlier, and they were not there, which means she already went with him. Ma'am, we're doing everything we can. Well, can you please try harder? Please, I'm not trying to move. I'm just. I'm concerned. I understand. I'm gonna send more of my officers out there to go search for her. But I. Hello. Meet the state police department. Uh, yes. You saw a a girl that appeared to be between the ages of six and nine go with a older man. <gasps> what does he look like to me? Because I'm looking for I'm dealing with another case here. He has black hair, the girl was a white female. Um she wore a shorter she wore like a mini skirt and she seemed a little sassy. <gasps> That's my Kayla. Do you know what the guy's name is? John Paul? Okay, thank you. <gasps> That's my Kayla. Oh my gosh, my poor daughter. Look, ma'am, we're going to go do him, okay? We're going <sighs> to... Do you know where he lives? Yes, we know where he lives. Good. I. <sighs> we're going to go to his house and we're going to arrest him. <sighs> thank you, officer. And we're going to get your daughter back. <sighs> I just hope my daughter isn't there. She likely is. If if, if she went with him, just, and since I got a report about that just now, she's likely at his house. Oh, I pray to Jesus that my girl is safe, that Jesus will protect, Jesus' angels will protect her. We're going to hope so. Anyway, we're going to head to the house. We're going to go arrest John Paul, and we're going to get your daughter back. Thank you so much, officer. How could I repay you? Oh, there's no need to repay me. We just, 
point is we're going to go get her back. We're going to make sure she's okay. Don't give your hopes up. Okay. Don't let her go down yet. Like we don't know if she's okay, but we're going to go get her back. Thank you. Let's go get her back. John Paul lives. Let's go inside. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? That's odd. My gosh, where's the little, little girl, Kayla? Where is she? Oh my gosh. This is apparently, am I at the right house? Let's check. Apparently this is where he lives. Anybody home? Doesn't look like anybody's home. No, no time for food. Kitchen looks a mess. The house looks a little run down. What is it? That's odd. I see some weapons on the ground. Wait, what's this? A blood stain? <gasps> We're going to take that off to the crime lab for DNA testing. He could have more potential victims that he's hurt. Wonder what's in here. <gasps> Wait, cage? <gasps> oh! Wait, what? A guillotine? Or a guillotine? <gasps> oh my gosh. Well, I hope there's not blood on it. Okay, good. I don't see any blood on the guillotine. Okay, thank goodness. So the girl could still be alive. <gasps> well, has he actually beheaded people and never been charged of it? So, let me guess. Paul is not only a child predator, but he's also a murderer. That doesn't surprise me one bit. Let's check over here. This area seems to be empty. He has a police impersonator outfit. Ain't gonna slide. We'll take that to lab for evidence. Guess this is where he sleeps. Let's check his computer. Oh my, no. That's, that's disturbing. Sick. He is a sick person. How to get away with mo? So he is murderer. How to get away? With oh my gosh! And he has some disturbing stuff on his computer that I'm not even gonna bring up. But oh my gosh! Yeah. When I when we run into Paul, he's gonna be going away for a very very long time. John Paul is a awful person. What is this? In fact, I don't even want to know what happened in here, but I'm pretty sure it's disturbing. Oh, well, this is the only room in the house that seems to have all the fun and entertainment. A little cookie and a coffee bar. My curiosity is, what is this all doing in the bathroom? Why is there a toilet and a tub in here? Why is there a stage next to the bathtub and a painting and a camera? Oh, this better not be what I think it is. Oh, this is very, very disturbing. Very. This better not be what I think it is. I don't even want to know at this point, but this guy is in serious trouble with us. Oh my gosh. A hot tub. Well, apparently he only has one nice room in his house.